Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All right, still loading. Hey, yeah, welcome. So today I'm with Ebus here. Um, Ebus Ismail. Hey guys, how are we? So this is work here. Hey guys, how are we? <laughs> well, good. Um, so yeah, um, his do art station. Sorry, is um Grimna. 1999 at artstation.com if you want to go check that out. Um, yeah, he's awesome work here. Interesting, kind of like sci fi kind of stuff, eh? Ah, uh, well, I wouldn't say sci fi, it's just like it's a general overview of things. Yeah, it's different. Um, yeah, so today is part two of. Um, my char or oh, part one of my character, sorry, not part two. Part one of my character, me just starting out, um, doing this drawing, and then there will be a part two of it. So this will just be the first initial, like going from start to doing tonal studies, because um, that's kind of the way I'm working a little bit now. Um, yeah. So can you tell me a bit about yourself, Abbas? So you might have um, cut out for a second there. These things happen, you know. Um, with chats and stuff, there's always that technical difficulties going on. Um, so I always have those things to deal with sometimes. Um, people cutting out and yeah, it's all all sorts of fun here and there. Um, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So I asked you. Um, Hold on. Um... Was it Abbas? Might reconnect the chat and see if that that might help. Um, yeah, so today is another stream. I'm with Abbas today. Um, I just showed that. Um, what? Hey, how's it? So, well, again, uh, there's a bit of a cut here and there, but the thing is. Um, that sounded weird, but I was like, as you were talking, I've been hearing dialogue from previous, like, from a few minutes ago. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. From 13 minutes ago. I... Like, right? <laughs> like, right now, I get to hear two voices of you. Oh, yeah. I can hear one, I can hear you now, and, and from what you were saying before. You might have the, your Twitch stream, is that silent? Um, oh, do I have to mute it? Yeah, mute the, um, Twitch stream. I have that now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Alright, um, I muted it, so... <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I, I have had that a few times, actually, you know, I've been live streaming, and it's uh, like, oh, no, I'm actually what, listening to myself, it's like, oh, but I usually pick it up quite quickly. So, yeah, those things happen. Um, mm. yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, so tell me a bit about yourself, Abbas. Um, oh man, that's, you know what, like whenever a person asks me to tell me, uh, to tell them, to tell them I'm, I'm about myself, I don't know uh, where to start. <laughs> um, yeah, where do yeah. I begin? It's, it's, um, well, yeah. I'll start with the basics. Um, um, I'm currently living and born in Australia, Sydney. I'm, uh, I'm almost 29 next month. Um, um, I love to draw, and um, this is hard. Uh, just, uh, can you ask me a question? Oh, yeah, well, next question. Um, yeah, it's ask me anything about myself. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So usually I have lined up questions um, to ask artists that mm -hmm. I have in, which is pretty cool. Um, it takes me a little while to come up with these questions sometimes. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. I just sit there for like 20 minutes um, finding them. Um, but yeah, uh, so my first question that I've got is, uh, what is your favourite subject matter? Like when it comes to drawing? Yep. Or do you have a favourite subject matter? Uh, well... Um, 
Well, if it's in my drawing context, then I'll say, I don't know, I'm, I'm into a lot of things like um, well, sci-fi, uh, definitely things with history, um, modern. Mm. Um, I try to do a bit of uh, fantasy, but, um, but, yeah, but hopefully I'll get around to doing stuff like that. But yeah, definitely sci-fi history and... Um, uh, modern day things, um, creatures as well, hmm. and I'm starting to, well, more these days, trying to start with like uh, doing more um, environment design. Yeah, which is what I'm sorely lacking in. Yeah, fair enough. I've seen, I've actually seen hmm. some on environment design, and it's quite good actually. Um, I mean, no, which, which, yeah, yeah. I'm not that great with environment design. Um, I mostly spend time on um, characters, creatures, all sorts of things. Um, mm. I, I don't like. I don't. I do a little bit of like you know the objects like guns and um, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But I'm more excited about the kind of you know creatures, more organic kind of things. Um, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's interesting. Um, I feel there's like two sides to to this. Like there's there's people huh? that just like. You cut out there for a second. I might cut out there. Um, but yeah, I, for me, I feel like there's two sides to people. Like there's um, one that just likes to draw whatever they can draw. They love to draw, and then there's people that mm -hmm. you know they they have a specific thing they like to draw, um, and that's what they really love to draw. Obviously, they do have to, you know, delve into other aspects of enjoy drawing environments and stuff to um, improve your skills. Mm. But you know, for me, I'm one of those people that really love to draw creatures and animals, and that's what I love to draw, um, and that's what I spend most of my time doing. Um, I, mm. yeah, obviously, I was thinking maybe in one of the few more streams um, down the road is doing some landscape ones too. Um, and maybe talk to like some landscape artists as well. That would be interesting for me. Um, it's it's. A uh, so what are you drawing right here now? It's like a it's like a um it's like a um sort of a wild cat uh a a biped cat um if that makes sense holding the sword. Yeah. So it's um is a cheetah. It's um based off. Oh, oh okay. It's based off the king cheetahs. Because that's my favourite animal. Mm -hmm. So he's a he's a king, mm. a cheetah character, and um, yeah, he's he's a like warrior kind of king of a uh, land place that I'm making up. So it's my own mm. kind of personal mm -hmm. character. It's something I've like, I've this character that I've thought up. I've had it ever since I was a child. I've thought of this character like a fighting. Um, guy cheetah um, that has superpowers. He's got like super speed because he's a cheetah, you know, kind of a thing. Um, yeah, I just thought well, I was like, oh, I have nothing. Like, I had nothing to do. I was like, um, I don't know where to go from now because I had all these projects, and you know, I finished all these projects off. So it was like, oh, I was at this small stage. Where I was like, oh shit! Now I've got like, I've got nothing like, to work on. I've got to create something to work on. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna give this a go. You mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna give my character from years back. I'm gonna give him a real good go because I think I think. Yeah, it's always good. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, it's always good to have like these. Uh, 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 not, I was gonna add that um, it's always good to have these like personal projects uh, to do on the side. I mean, I have one in mind right now, but I'm not gonna say what it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mo a little uh, verbal uh, uh, NDA. Verbal ADA. So I choose to actually release it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, like yeah. the idea hit me just uh, last night. Um, I was doing some sketches of um, of some waterfalls. Like I had a look at one picture of a waterfall, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my own little sketches of this um, environment uh, to try and practice more. And then as I was doing one particular drawing, the idea hit me. So I'm like, okay, 
I'm going to take these notes. I'm, I'm going to note these down before I forget them. So, um, in the near future, I'm going to delve into that project. Hopefully, it'll turn out the way I uh, the way I picture it. So, yeah. Awesome. This sounds good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I was, I was going to add before that um, uh, you mentioned that you like to draw like characters and creatures and so on. I mean, like it's all good to specialize in a particular area. Um, I mean, I like, originally I wanted to only do characters and creatures. I, I had a talk with um, someone that I met uh, online and and like you mentioned generally that you get like more ahead in the game if you do like multiple things like characters, environments, weapons, creatures, props, anything like that. Because like it'd be hired for more work. So that's why I chose to uh, uh, to um to, uh, to have more variety in my work. Yeah, yeah. There's there's fair enough. Um there's the generalist versus being a specialist thing. Um which is something I do discuss every now and again, so there's some videos that I do discuss that, um, that everyone can go check out. Um, you know, I, I I think that it's, um, I mean, for me, I feel that if you specialise in something, you can focus and really advance in doing that. So, if you're doing environments, you know, just do, focusing on doing environments, you can get really, really good at doing environments. Um, and eventually sure. you'll be the best in your business of doing environments um, and then you know people will be like oh what, um, they'll, they'll be like oh who can do our environments click and they'll know your name um, kind of a thing you'll get to that level um, and yeah mm -hmm. generalists are just you know people they're looking for people to do something you know uh, they're looking for you to do environment design and then it's like you see this other character design job you know you can do all these different jobs and you know you can do them well um, which is all good but, um, yeah if someone specialized it they would probably be able to do a better job than you at that character design um, for someone that's delving into lots of fields like environments and things um, but yeah you can get you, you yeah. know you get more opportunities for learning more skills um, which mm, is pretty course. cool. Like um, in some yeah, of the works, um, yeah. <laughs> in some of the works I see you do, you do some, no, 3D, you, yeah. you do some three D stuff, and then you know you sometimes you use three D objects and stuff um, to do your stuff. Oh yeah, with uh, with three D, I only use uh, just as a base, mm. and then uh, to paint over it uh, later on. Yeah. And it's mainly because also to get the perspective for it. Hmm. Because if I also do the perspective manually, like, like uh, there is an option, but the thing is, uh, uh, it will take longer to do it. So why not, um, air quote, uh, cheat, <laughs> and then uh, thing done quicker? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is very helpful. I mean, the option's available, so why not? Yeah, it's very helpful to know, you know, how to do 3D design. Um, like I'm thinking maybe it, it definitely helps. Yeah, like delving into different fields, it helps. Like even if you're a specialist, mm. it helps to delve into other fields. Yeah. Um, like you doing more environment design because you, you feel like you can improve in that. Um. Oh yeah, three D will definitely help in environment design, especially like uh, yeah, um, it will definitely help in perspective and like, also play around with lighting and shadow as well. Mm. What what do you feel is your most like um, like what sorry mm -hmm. what you're saying I'll ask a question after eh? <laughs> okay, I I was gonna add that like um like I was trying to use Google Sketch but but then I came across Blender so I've been I've been meaning to join like work and controls and mm -hmm. use Blender because it's a more effective way to get into um Google Sketch. Ah oh, yeah yeah we might change back into the other voice check so it seemed a bit better I'm not too sure um, oh, what's that? 
or change back into how we had the chat before, you know, through um, on the Discord. Yeah. Because this one seems mm -hmm. to be cutting out a little bit. Um, so it'll be back in a second. And so uh, we changed a bit, but uh, yeah, I'm doing my character here, and we're talking a bit about. Um, uh, skills and things, and I'm just about to ask Abbas. Um, I was going to ask him, what do you feel is your strongest skill? Um, from the skill, uh, drawing, I guess. I mean, that's just uh, pretty <laughs> much it. Cool. Yeah. Like in terms of what I do, drawing is drawing is probably my most um. Uh, well, I've definitely done much more of that compared to like anything else uh, recently. In terms of, um, of what I want to get into. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I think for me, is um, yeah. specifically, is uh, drawing animals. Um, I mean, oh, do you mean, for like, example, like which area you. Yeah, well. Like which. Uh, Skill or which like area um um in drawing? Yeah, you could say what area as well. Um, oh, like what? Um, yeah, I'd have to say characters, but also prop design, prop and doing um um design. Oh, by the way, uh, just a heads up. Uh, you may notice that I that I started when I speak, so yeah. It's all good. It's all good. This is how I am. So yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, like recently I've been doing a lot of characters and uh, prop design. So and now I want to try and get into doing um, environments, and that's a whole another that's a whole new thing that because you're putting everything into one area: props, weapons, um, characters. Maybe it's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a cool field to be in props and stuff. I mean, yes. for me, um, I have to do a lot of stuff. It's not just you know creatures. Um, when like this, for instance, I had to do the prop design. I had to do the um, clothing design and quite a a bit of different you know, different things going on. It wasn't just me drawing this animal creature character. It was a bit mm. of, you know, I had to learn how to draw the sword. Try, I try to bring in some um, foreshortening, which you will see a bit later on. I'm not sure if I actually foreshorten it in mm -hmm. part one. Um, but I try to add a bit more foreshortening to it, and I'm still, I don't feel like the skill of me foreshortening is there. It's you know, it's a skill that I'm still learning, um, and I've never seen mm. it. just there. No, I was, no, yeah, no, no. you see, you see what I've done now is a little bit of trying to add a bit of foreshortening. Um, yeah, and I, it's something that I have definitely um, stayed away from. You know, because it's like I don't know this skill, so I'm going to stay away from it, kind of a thing. Um, which happens, which... You know, uh, yeah. what would help in that? What? Um, like, this may sound a bit weird, but like, yeah, but it helps, it definitely helps, like, um, take a picture of yourself posing mm -hmm. with the sword in, like, um, towards the camera, and that would be a good, um, like, uh, reference, um, to do some, uh, uh, for shortly. And right now the sword, yeah, it is looking like it's in perspective. Um, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a lot better now than it was before because you have it um, just to the camera. Yeah, but I mean, I so I actually used a photo in this pose and everything to try and get the pose right. A photo of myself, hmm. um, which is a great tip. It's great. Oh, so you actually posed in this? Yeah, I did. I did do this pose. Um, so it's, it's a good tip. Yeah, I I do use photo reference of myself for every um, every um, character that I now do because it's just 
it's so much helpful. I mean, it's a struggle trying to find a pose online um, or what I want online, you know. Mm. It's easier to just take your own photos. And that way, you know, your pose is quite unique because it's not just something you found on Google that probably a uh, hundred other mm-hmm. artists could see you know it's it's a pose that you generally mm-hmm. generally made up on on the side and no one knows about that pose yet until you put it on Google you know kind mm-hmm. of a thing um, so it creates an interesting and then like if someone comes in and sees you posing you'd be like uh, what are you doing? Doing, um, I'm not gonna deal with that <laughs> It's a silly thing, but, you know, you just get used to it. You get used to, um, I mean, yeah. I had uh, I had one artist that came into our illustration class, and um, uh, one thing that we asked her, like, how do you get all your poses right and everything, and uh, she, she basically mm-hmm. said that, you know, um, you've got to feel like you are, that character, you know, you are pretending to be that character, and that's that's what you want to do. You want to, if you're creating a character, because this character is quite personal to me. I know how this character is. I know what kind of feeling I want to give him. Um, I know what pose he's going to play mm-hmm. in this part of him as trying to attack, obviously. Um, so it's you know I already mm-hmm. knew yeah. how to be this character. Um, but if you're working on someone else's it's work, to swing that sword because... yeah, and mm. yeah, that's another thing is foreshortening. Also, the photo might not exactly show how the foreshortening, like how you could um, how you could kind of manipulate it a bit so that it can look a bit more like it's coming towards you, kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's coming along okay, and, um, and the sword, uh, it looks like it has some like some real weight to it, so. Yeah, it, it, it definitely was a learning curve um, for a few things in this, it was, mm. I had a bit of um, textures to learn, I, I had quite a bit of learning on this, on this illustration alone, um, which is interesting. Mm. Um, Have you learned how to do some uh, photo bashing? Um, yeah, I've learned how to do photo bashing. I've done it before. Um, which it, it's all right. It's fun and it's another way to cheat, and it really helps. Yeah, it. it yeah. You know what, like it helps you go for realism. If not, then like yeah, um, then so photo bashing. It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, personally, I find it interesting because like it's. It's quicker to get things done, and it's um, some might um, assume it's cheating, but um, not really. It, it's just another tool that's there. I mean, there's millions of people that do it, and they do it amazingly. Um, photo bashing, you know, you couldn't tell that they're using photos, kind of a thing, and um, yeah, and sometimes it's just to get the idea out there, you know, just to quickly. Um, do the job and do the mm. idea quickly. Um, yeah, I, I mean, sometimes if there's something that I'm like, oh, I want a photo in this picture. Like there was one McCall event that I did where I decided I just want to focus on just that creature. So I decided to use a photo, ref- a photo to put that creature into, um, which was interesting. And yeah, I've created things out of photos before as well. It 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 does develop like your. There's a bit of cutting going on right now. Yeah, a little bit of cutting here and there. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of cutting here and there. Just cutting off. Um... But yeah, it's all good. Um, we'll try the other server again. Lol. <laughs> I think that was actually better. A little bit. <clears throat> General chat. So yeah, um, welcome to my channel. Obviously, uh, hopefully you like, share, subscribe. I I talk to artists and everywhere, like lots of artists from around the world. Um, so yeah. Can,
Yeah, we have Aberson today, and we were talking quite a bit about a few things here and there about um, developing skills, um, the difference between general and um, specialized artists, and he had some personal, well, kind of a bit about personal projects and st as well. Um, I just. Um, retried the call to see if it will go better because sometimes we run into yeah. this difficulty issue sometimes. Um, what mm -hmm. happens every now and again, you know, it might be that my internet's playing up or um, that it's just that because, you know, I'm talking with someone because Abyss is from Australia. I'm from New Zealand, so we're, we're, we're actually quite close compared to you know some places I talk to people I've had people from like Russia mm. I've had people from the UK um yeah and it's it I find it really cool to talk to people from around the world and to get different aspects um of you know what how their journey art journey is going and it's, it's very cool so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this um do you do you <coughs> Abbas, um prefer doing personal works or working on someone else's things? Um, a bit of both actually. I mean, like <clears throat> uh, the ideas that people uh, uh, do for other people, like uh, they're definitely interesting in my opinion. But then, like, I do comes to me. Um. I don't know when uh, uh, that I want to do in my spare time, and it's like really eating me up. And then, I'm like, you know what? Um, my time myself. Yeah. As soon as I do the work with the clients, then I'll just, like spend some more time doing this stuff. Like, for example, um, uh, a few weeks ago, um, <clears throat> the idea came to me. Yeah. Uh, like, believe it or not, it was when I was having. Uh, like, a, like it was when I was having, having a shower, so uh, there was this old cartoon that I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, it's called uh, the. It actually started in the 80s, but then oh, I watched cool. it when it was. Uh, the. Uh, uh, Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah. Okay. C E N T. U R I O N. It's um uh, like how do I say um it's a um I mean, it's a cartoon where like these guys they they merge with a uh, uh, machine. Oh, awesome! Yep. And it was this action pack cartoon like it was in the eight, but then the 80s, I, yeah. but then I first watched it when it was um put on Cartoon Network in the nineties. So I'm like, you know what? I really want to do my own version. Of this cartoon, like my own realistic version, and I couldn't stop thinking about doing this idea. Like, I thought about it for about a week. Then I'm like, you know what? Because, because I keep thinking about it, I'm actually going to start to like take down notes uh, to be very careful on on how I approach it. And then, um, and then yeah, just get to like uh, designing my own take on it. Yeah. Like it was well worth it in the end. Cool. Yeah, I feel like I have the same thing. You know, once something's in my mind, you know, a redesign. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Wait, once something in my mind. Well, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Hmm. You were gonna say? Oh yeah, I was. I was just gonna uh, say that like after I finished that project, I had like. Another idea to do another redesign of the cartoon that I enjoyed when I was a kid. It's called uh, SWAT Cats. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cats with a K. Yeah. It was a 90s cartoon that got banned uh, through <laughs> five years. Um, but I thought, but then I thought on how the cats would look in real life. And be, so I'm like, I don't think it's a good idea that I approach, that I approach it with that. I mean, it might ruin it. It might make it look worse. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely have, feel like I have that where, you know, something's in my <coughs> mind that I want to do, and it, if it doesn't go away, 
um, it never will, and I always have to do it. But then, <laughs> it's like that means that you should do it. Like yeah, exactly. And you know, nothing you can stop you from doing it too. It's like, um, you know, if I wanted to do a t traditional painting this year, and um, it took a little mm. while to do to get started and everything. And then another um, another project came up that I had to do um, a challenge on Art Station actually that I participated in. And I was like, I've got to okay. participate in that. But in the end, I still had to do the traditional. And painting. I haven't done. <laughs> You haven't done any? And I haven't done any of the art session challenges. Fair enough. They, yeah, they, you know, they do take a bit of time out, you know, you've got to have that time to actually do them. Um, so then, mm, for me, but that, they give you like a lot of time to do Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I've, actually there's just one that's popped up now, it's, uh, I think it's like Japanese or... Yeah, it's like the future in Japan, isn't it, or something like that. It's just popped up. No, 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 no um, feudal Japan. Feudal Japan. Yeah, yeah. That's it, the new challenge. Yeah, which is, it looks cool, and, um, but at the moment, I, I can't, I've got no time to really do it. I usually find time for these mm. challenges, but, um, yeah, it's just me, it's, um, at the moment. They do take time out. I mean, I could do um, streams with them as well, watch would um, mm. still better, but yeah. Um, I think the last two challenges that really got me is they had creature design in there, or character design, which I really was fascinated in, so I was like, oh, I'll do it, because it's got creatures or characters in it. Um, which this challenge still has characters, and, uh, uh, you know, if I did it, I think they would get something out of it, you know, get um, some feedback or just, um, you know, have some fun doing yeah, things. But at the moment, I'm more focused on me doing other things, like um, I've got this that I'm finished, and then I'll have some few things that I've got. I'm deciding on making my own kid's book again. Um, so Are hopefully, you kids book? yeah, I'm definitely going to make that. Yeah. I've started the first page it's going to be a short little book that I'm going to make and hopefully um, I'll just get a few printed or something and see what happens you know um, but yeah that's what I'm focusing on at the moment is doing character mm. creatures and just doing my own kind of thing I do like I do enjoy doing work for others as well um, but it's got to be something that I enjoy. Otherwise, if if I'm taking time out from doing what I like to do, um, you know, it, yeah, I'd rather be doing this than you know someone someone else's work sometimes. But if if someone else's work is I'm passionate about or I think that um, will benefit me, um, I'll definitely work on it. Um, I mean, I mean, there's obviously those jobs of paying the bills, so you've got to do those um, jobs that you don't like. Um, but there's mm -hmm. got to. I, I feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like even if those you do those jobs, you still. I feel you need to get something out of it, whether it's you know a little bit of cash, you know, that could help you. Um, but to me. Um, money's money. You kind of just have to. Uh, since yes. it's something you love doing, you kind of. I feel you should be doing it because you love it. Um, yeah. Mm. Um. So what have we got? Have you have you met any in interesting artists or teachers? Um. I have met one artist. Um. He. He usually has like his own little group in, uh, like in like uh, conventions, like for example, uh, Supernova. Oh, yeah, um, I've heard of that. Heard of that. Uh, they usually have, yeah, like his name is um, Wayne Hag. Okay. And yeah. he's a teacher at this. Um, and he's a teacher at this um, art school in, in Sydney, and I like this guy. Um, 
is more of a traditional artist. He worked on, for example, um, movies like the War of the Rings trilogy, um, Alien, the new Alien Covenants yeah. movie. Yeah. And like, he doesn't even map painting and environment design. Yeah. And I had him, I had him look at my work to say he can get, uh, say he can give me um, feedback. And back then, I only, I only did character, uh, character work. I had him, but this year, um, he wasn't there. So uh, the next time I see him, by then, I, w- I, w- I would have like a lot, of, a lot of variety of work to show him. Yeah. So it's not just characters this time, it's going to be more like variety. Yeah, uh, he's an artist that, well, he's a, um, a professional artist uh, 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 that I met in person. Like, all the other ones that I admire are all like um, different parts of the world. So, uh, I mean, like, for example, um, I would love to meet, for example, an artist like uh, James Peck or uh, um, Zhu. Um, Eaton or Aton Zana, just all those like um, amazing um, artists. Uh, and um, and what about you? So, um, uh, uh, are there any that you admire? Or, yeah. Or, or I, any artist uh, that you admire? Yeah, definitely, I've got a lot of people I admire. Um, mm. The people I've met, um, obviously, there's all this uh, through YouTube ones. Um, but I'm going to go into, like, actually meeting people. So I've actually met, um, the guy from Weta Workshops, what's his name? I try to remember his name now. Weta Workshops? Yeah, he's one of the head, um, designers there, he's really awesome. Um, and what happened is Bobby mm. Shell actually interviewed him, and then the next, I watched the stream. Oh, oh you did him? Yeah, he got interviewed by a. You got the interview. No, no, I did. Bobby Chu. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. I did, but um, the guy that I talked to actually actually had an in, he had an interview with Bobby Chu, um, and the day oh, okay, okay, the day enough. after it was released, like I went to see him. And I was like, hey, oh, you were on that stream with Bobby Chill. And he was like, oh, my, I was like talking to him for a few minutes about him. Um, Mm. It was really cool just to chat with him. He was a really awesome guy. If I could only remember his name. I know his face and I I know who he is and everything. It's just, you know, I've got, I've got Mm. so many people and artists that I do, um, you know, look at. And it's like, oh, I can't remember everyone's everyone's name I'm not I'm not the most uh, that's me I mean like I know people are more by face instead of like by name yeah I, it takes a little while to remember their name sometimes <laughs> um, I'm pretty bad mm. with that but he's, he's an awesome guy I'll see if I can um, find his name anyway yeah I talked to him <laughs> because we yeah. had this there was this conference it's in Wellington and it's how it's usually held every year uh, this year I wasn't able to make it, and I was I was really sad about that. But I've been two years in a row, and it's it was awesome. We've had people like Ian McCraig in. Um, I at the time we had Ian McCraig, I was really like nervous. I really really wanted to go up to him though. Wow. Um, and you, I almost had the opportunity. I stayed in the room while he was there. I could have. I could have got out my seat and said hi to him, you know, but at that stage mm-hmm. it was a bit like, oh no, he won't want to talk to me kind of a thing. Um, yeah, the nervous. Oh, yeah, I, oh man, I do. Really. I've met some really yeah. awesome artists. Even here in Palmerston, there's some um, artists like they have kind of these little things where. Um, they have like different artist studios and different um, art shops open for the whole weekend, and you can go on the little tours and stuff. I've I've met so many mm-hmm. awesome people, and uh, it's just great to keep keep talking to people, keep meeting new artists. It's uh, everyone has a new opinion. It's quite interesting that you like that you are actually you know you want to see this guy again and you want to show him your work again 
Mm. I mean, like, um, I don't know, like, like in the back of my mind, what? Maybe this guy can get me a job. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe as an intern, or I don't know. I mean, I had that in the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah, is it too? Yeah, no way. I mean, the more, <laughs> the more people you know, the more chance um, there is, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, even if, you know, they can give you, like, just a little bit of advice of um, how, you know, you can improve in doing your work. Um, it's of great, course, yeah. Which is awesome. Or just learning, you know, how their process uh, works is really awesome mm. but like um like i would recommend uh looking at a lot of an artist named uh uh Teng zoo zoo sorry what was his name he, uh, his name is uh Teng zoo it's f-e-n-g and zoo z-h-u uh yeah i think i've heard his name yeah. He had his own, he has his own, uh, uh, school in, uh, Singapore. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. And I think, I think, like, watching his tutorials, um, is what, like, uh, I mean, his, uh, his interviews or whatever is what, uh, got me into doing, uh, more concept art because, um, in the beginning, I used to think that concept art, uh, sorry, I used to think that, really, illustrations were concept art and they used to freak me out because basically like but uh, uh, but then I realized that concept art and illustration are two different areas because of an illustration it's just making an image look pretty that's it with concept art you're actually designing like ideas for uh, for the company you work for or for the client so and it, yeah I mean that that made me feel feel a huge amount of relief. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Like, like you see these like awesome looking um uh, illustrations from like Blizzard or Riot Games or like these like these like cool looking pictures of these characters doing anything like that. It's just like yeah, those are illustrations. Uh, that's not an area that I would delve into that much. So yeah. Uh, I'm glad that he cleared that confusion up for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I quite, um, yeah, I'm an illustrator, obviously, so I prefer to, um, well, I, I, st I do the concept art stage, obviously, um, but I prefer to mm. take one piece from start to finish rather than, um, yeah. You know, rather than just create the idea of what it's supposed to look like, kind of a thing, um, to then be improved and you know go into where it's supposed to go, like a movie or uh, a book or something. Um, but yeah. Mm. Any any anything else you'd like to add? No. Oh wow, well, it's been an hour. Um. Yeah, it's it's been a good stream. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like, like minus the technical difficulties. Like, yeah, um, it's all been. Uh, oh my god, why are you browsing portfolio? Please, <laughs> hide it away. It's terrible. Yeah, uh, it's alright. Hide it away. <laughs> hide it away. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Um, if you look at the uh, centurion design, it's on the left. The one with those three characters. That's my redesign of it. Um, if you want to click on that and see my and see the process of that. This one. It's actually really cool. What is it called? Modern. Uh, the one on the far left that has that has the three characters. Yeah. No, no, uh, it's the one that has the three characters. Yeah, that one. Yeah. This is redesign. No, no, I go up. No, I go up. I'll go up. It's not that no, one. No, hold on. Not the sniper one. Go up. Uh, it's the one to the left. This one. Yeah, the Centurions. So it's a show. Yeah, that one. Awesome. Interesting. Yeah, um, it's based on an old cartoon. Like, yeah. it's having these characters merge with, like, uh, these, like, uh, weapons and all that. It's pretty cool, like, as a kid. 
Yeah, yeah. That sounds really awesome. Which uh, is not very nice. Are these like are mostly these like some of its photo or is it actually painting? What? Uh, like this interior project? Yeah. Like, are these faces photos, or are they actually? Uh, a bit, a bit of pictures and a bit of painted. So, like, I didn't face anyone in real life. So, I blended like, for example, pictures together of heads to come up with a new thing. I even like tweaked the the, uh, the eyes and the mouth and whatever the hell. And yeah, and as you can see, uh, like there's, there's a guy who specializes in air combat. Uh, there's one guy for mm. land, there's one guy for sea. Mm. Awesome. Well, yeah, thanks for joining us. And, um, yeah, thanks everyone that did watch this video. Uh, this has been Abbas here. And, yeah, it was awesome. Hey, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's yeah. been part one. Hopefully, we did mm. say something you can take away. Um, that's the main thing, you know, that's why I kind of create these videos. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too long, too, too long. Uh, it's gone probably over the threshold. Um, but yeah, thank you. Like, share, subscribe. Um, have a good one. Keep drawing, keep painting. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, everyone. <laughs> everyone, make sure you subscribe to him. So, hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Yeah. Uh.